Fuck. Just when I thought tobacco couldn't get any more radioactive, well, there's the confirmation. <clears throat> no, it, it won't be limited to tea. Ridiculous. Okay, I got a lot here. I know I haven't posted in a couple of days because I've been busy planting my garden and feeling really fucked about planting my garden knowing full well that it will be the most radioactive crop I've ever grown. But a radioactive crop is better than no crop at all. I need something to get my fucking head out of the issue. Um, and I guess what it is about the issue that gets me so pissed off is that it comes down to accountability um, to the entire human race. I think when you start engaging in certain behaviors, like anything nuclear or atomic, you are suddenly accountable to the entire human race because that's who's affected by any, any of your fuck ups. You know, when the consequences are, are that big, the accountability needs to be that big too. I know for damn well sure that if I uh, let oil spill out of my driveway into the street, I'll have authorities on my ass right away. Um, you know, even, even residue, even suspicion of some sort of like ongoing polluting from my home. I mean, I can smoke all I want. Got no complaints about that. It's highly taxed. Um, accountability, yeah. Okay, I, in all of this, you know, came up with the little slogan of, oh, 9-11, that's so nine issues ago. But, uh, the response you're seeing in Japan, it makes me think about the disaster response to 9-11. Just look at how quickly they started hauling debris away. And that's the sort of reaction that needs to be happening in Japan. And it's, it's late. It's late. That reaction should have happened long ago. That island should have been... How do you evacuate an island that size, though? What's the population of Japan? Okay, I don't have figures on that. I got other points. Um, in a way, this whole thing is an uh, info war victory. Is it a concession to truthers? Is it possible that so many people are feeling so vindicated right now that they're going to ignore the issue of what the hell to do about this problem. Um, you know, if the info war is about transparency and, and communication of what's going on, then, you know, false flag a little, a little two month delay on cluing the world in on what the hell has happened in Japan. Um, I used to be a pacifist. Uh, this whole thing has got me questioning that because uh, I've come up with a new torture. I, I have invented waterboarding with radioactive salt water. Hey, what do you think? Um, I don't know, is it too early in all this to, to say whose ass needs kicking? Um, it's practically genocide, okay, on the entire human race. And it makes me wonder if Japan is alien or what the hell is it about them that makes them think that they can survive this kind of disaster. It's very anti-human. You know, and it's weird for humans to be so anti-human. So, I got questions. I got questions. Let's talk about it. I got to spend more time in the garden and um, be really careful right now because I'm anticipating a flood of information and none of it's going to be 
pleasant. None of it's going to make me feel better, you know? It's important to stay aware of the issue, but it's important to maintain your own life too and remember where you were and where you are and where you're going. Um, it's easy to get sucked into this and it's easy to get depressed by this. So gotta stay balanced and stay with it. Thanks for listening.